At Werner in North Rhine-Westphalia, Steag Power Minerals has been operating an efficient fly ash landfill planned with sensitivity to ecological considerations since 2004. Fly ash which cannot be used to make concrete or cement because of the stringent quantity requirements is brought here for absolutely safe disposal. Currently, the surface is being sealed on two large sections prior to recultivation under the supervision of company personnel. Andreas Suma is the head of plant operations at Steag Power Minerals. He coordinated the complex planning procedure for the recultivation with an experienced team of external designers and inspectors. We are here today at the Werner landfill on the site of the Gersteinwerk power plant. The landfill was established in 1984 and has been operated by Steag Power Minerals since 2004. Each year between 90,000 and 120,000 metric tons of conditioned fly ash are deposited here. The landfill is directly adjacent to the power plant site. This means that the surrounding area does not suffer any major inconvenience from traffic or noise. Furthermore, the on-site personnel take various precautions to eliminate dust emissions during operation of the landfill. It consists of a total of six sections. Sections 1 to 4 have already been filled in and the surface is sealed and recultivated. Sections 5 and 6 are currently being filled. To reduce dust emissions and leaching, they are being sealed and recultivated as operation progresses. The area being recultivated covers more than 65,000 square meters. There are numerous individual stages from the planning phase to practical implementation. The whole process has been managed by the Steag Power Minerals team on site in close cooperation with expert service providers. The planning of the project and preparation of the application documents are subject to environmental and waste law. These tasks were performed jointly with the Münster-based engineering company EVA. Here we can see the layout plan of our landfill. The various construction sections are shown in different colors. We've got five construction sections. The whole thing is clearly illustrated in this cross-section. Here is the material which has been deposited and above that the sealing material, the mineral seal. Then comes the drainage layer. This channels off the rainwater that leaches through the recultivation layer. Above that, there's a separating membrane to prevent soil from the recultivation layer falling into the drainage layer. Finally, we have a one meter thick recultivation layer on the top. The interplay of all these layers ensures maximum protection of the groundwater. The contract for this important work was awarded to a joint venture between Küsta GmbH of Osnabrück and the construction company Lühlmann von Münster. Both companies have many years of experience in landfill construction to call on. Marco Mescher from Küsta GmbH explains how the design has been put into practice. We are currently installing the first and second layers of the surface seal. It consists of a mineral clay seal which is installed in layers of 25 centimeters each. This is to ensure that surface water can't penetrate the body of the landfill. The layer structure is important and must be adhered to strictly, down to the last centimeter. To achieve this, the specialist contractors use state-of-the-art drones to generate hundreds of thousands of measuring coordinates over the 65,000 square meter area. Thanks to this, the completion status of the landfill can be precisely planned and verified at all times. With GPS-controlled heavy machines, it is possible to determine the exact installation heights, for example that of the mineral clay seal. Here you can see the clay sealing material as it is finally installed in the layer. For the material to provide an efficient seal, it must have an optimum water content, and this is set before it leaves the works. On top of the surface seal, we install a drainage layer. This is 30 centimeters thick and channels off the surface water, rain for example, at the base of the landfill. When the drainage material has been laid, the surface is covered with a non-woven membrane and topped with a recultivation soil. Vegetation is then sowed on the recultivation soil as seen here in the old part and a beautiful green area is created. Employees of Steag Power Minerals at site permanently ensure that all materials are installed with no dust emissions. 
We water the landfill permanently on a daily basis as we install deposition materials. This means that no dust is created here at the landfill. The water barrel on this tractor holds around 20,000 liters and the tractor constantly drives across the landfill. The work is proceeding precisely on schedule. Specialists like third-party inspector Dr. Hans-Peter Schröder from the firm Geotechnisches Büro Professor Dr. Döllmann see to it that all requirements are satisfied. He monitors the accuracy of the work and can illustrate the ideal result on a cross-section of the terrain. Sie sehen hier einen Anschnitt durch das Deponieabsichtungssystem. What you see here is a section of the landfill sealing system. In this case, it is a surface sealing system. Here at the bottom, you can see the deposited material, the fly ash, which is to be sealed over. The fly ash has a high load-bearing capacity. The mineral seal is built up above the fly ash here. This mineral seal consists of clay. Clay is impermeable to water. It is constructed in two layers. The drainage layer is applied on top of the clay. The purpose of the drainage layer is to channel off the surface water which seeps through here subsequently. It consists of gravel, and here on the gravel there is a separating membrane. This divides the recultivation soil above from the gravel to prevent soil particles getting flushed in. And then, on the separating membrane, there is a one meter thick recultivation soil. This will ensure that the landfill is covered by greenery again. With their considerable experience, the team has mastered this sensitive project from the planning procedure to section by section recultivation. Recultivation is one of the many services provided by Steag Power Minerals. They range from the reliable supply of high quality construction materials to cost-effective, efficient, and safe disposal. Steag Power Minerals.